Here's a quick view of the garden area where we began on Monday and it's now Wednesday. I will get out there before we post this on Friday and show you what it looks like um, prior to Friday. We added a few extra plants and some more um, mulch and some more soil and made it look really nice. Good morning. It is Monday and it's a beautiful Monday morning. It's a little overcast, no sunshine this morning. I'm out in the garden, fed the chickens and had my breakfast and and I need to come out in the garden and take care of a few. for a little break from the garden. We're gonna go for a little hike down the hill and see which tree fell. So come and join me. Sad. So what I was thinking it was. Well, I usually stop right there when I'm walking down the hill. So that tree is huge. And knocked tops out of these trees. It's really weird how it snapped. So we're gonna have to cut this tree. bug damage, like termites or something. It's like hollowed out and filled with all that. Looks like prime soil, but I'm sure it's bug dropping. What are you doing up there? Get back. Get back, Case. Casey, get back. Get back, go on. Good girl. Good girl. Good boy, Becky. Come on. Good girl. There's the view back up towards the A frame. Who's here? Right up there. It's the owl. It's one of the owls. My chickens are out. I hope he doesn't notice. Another new day is met by another tree coming down, though this time it's intentional. This tree died sometime last year, and this morning guys came out to take it down for us. <clears throat> Here in a little bit, we'll hike down to the, um, the other fallen tree and see what it looks like after they dropped it to the ground for us.
These guys did a great job with precision. They dropped that tree without much collateral damage at all and um, we're very thankful for that. We asked them to leave chunks for us so that we could cut it into firewood. Probably won't be able to use it for a couple of years because it's still pretty green. And they took care of us there too. Look at that beautiful maple. And as promised, we hiked down to the other tree to see what it looked like. Take a peek. 10 inches. Wow. So, I mean, it, and look it up here. Huh. I, look, I didn't even see this again. That hole doesn't go down that far. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't get smaller. Huh. That much smaller right there. Yep. I was surprised it didn't break off there first. Yeah. But man, that's, that's a lot of weight. Yeah, it is. It's, look at, and look how the crack right there. Mm -hmm. The trunk is 23 inches. Mm. Man, it doesn't start getting smaller. Good morning. We woke up to having a little bit of rain last night and so it's a little misty. It's a little bit of fog out there. I'm gonna take care of the chickens and then get out in the garden and get back to you later. Life gets in the way sometimes, so we didn't get everything done that we wanted to, but we were able to both get on the mowers and we're taking well, advantage of, of both of them being fixed now so we can do twice as much. Yeah, so we're mowing down the tall stuff in the pastures. Did a little more in the garden. Um, I'll, get, I'll get back to you on that next week. I'll show you what's going on in the garden. And until then, we hope you like what you saw. And if you do, give us a thumbs up. And um, you can share us if you want to or or... Whatever. <laughs> we're, we're getting better, slow but sure. We're learning. We're not only learning um, homesteading and gardening, how to grow our own food, but we're also learning how to um, do this YouTube thing. And we're just kind of learning from our mistakes. Le learning on the fly, I guess <laughs> you could call it. Sometimes the best way to learn, the way that it sticks in your mind the most is through error, right? <laughs> so anyway, hope you all have a great week. And we'll see you again next week. Bye for now.